Hi everyone! Today we will be sewing Adriana bottom. Uh, I already have the pattern piece cut it and I've already cut it my back and my front for the main fabric and for the lining piece but you, you will be able to find our pattern and on our online store you have a link down below so this is my front and this is my back we used the fold to cut the fabric for the front and for the back and uh, for the um, top strap the, the sizes are also included on the pattern so you just need to cut uh, as it says on the pattern so once we have cut it, our pieces I, I, I have here front and back front and back uh, for the lining and I have here my straps I just pinned uh, on the gusset area and now I'm gonna sew here and here we now have our back, front and back pieces sewn together in the crotch area and we can now place right sides facing together aligning them we can pin the entire leg hole on both sides and we will sew so I've decided to leave my uh, video with a, a strap that I've thought about doing and you can see me here doing a strap but then I ended up doing a completely different method that I believe it's easier for all of us so this was uh, the way that I thought I was going to do but then I did it differently so follow the next steps to see how I did the top band so this was the method I was going to use and then we had to sandwich everything inside but um, I don't think this is the best way uh, neither the easiest one so that's why I decided to cut the straps again and uh, do similar to the method that we used for the Barcelona top uh, but not exactly the same let me just start by saying that uh, uh, in the end of the video you will see that probably I should have uh, made the strap with uh, the seam uh, on one of the sides because we will always have two seams on this band so place the seam not uh, on the center back as I did but for the side because you will then need to cut and have a seam on the opposite side also so here you can see that I've cut it already two bands again and I'm gonna abandon this one that I'm holding in my hand this was the older one so I've uh, placed right sides facing together and I've used my uh, higher bands and placed it uh, right sides facing together with my front piece of the bikini align the middle with the middle and then I'm gonna place the other one and align it also we will also uh, notice in the end of the video that uh, in the end we always need to have two seams on this uh, band so instead of doing what I'm doing here which uh, means that the seam will be on the center back of the bottom uh, place your seam to the side so that once you have the other seam they will be uh, uh, on the sides and not one on the side and one on, of, on the back as I ended up having mine so don't forget place uh, the main uh, bottom with your seam on one of the sides if it's easier for you mark uh, on the band the middle the sides uh, so it's easier for you to place the main uh, piece with the straps then place the other strap on top right sides facing together pin all uh, the area that you can and sew with a hand stitch if you want to secure it in place and then we will prepare to connect with the back now we are gonna forget the ones that are on top and the one that is down so the, the bigger one you're gonna match right sides facing together and you're gonna go to the sew straight stitch machine and sew half a centimeter from the edge because as I usually tell you don't go too two to the edge because uh, the machines if you are not a professional will not work properly if you try to go very very near the edge so leave half a centimeter so and then you trim if you feel like you need to to uh, remove the excess fabric so let's just do here so I've sewn the, the, 
the, the strap, the band, I don't know how you call it. Um, and now let's go back to the same position that we had before so that you can remember what we were doing. I'm thinking on, on this, at the same time that I'm doing this, I'm thinking the best way to do this. So let's see if this works. So now we already have our exterior side of the bands, uh, the one that is facing the right side of the fabric, uh, folded and sewed. And we want to place our uh, bottom back, just like we did here, we want to place it the middle, facing the middle of uh, your back. So if we would do like this and like this, it would be matching, right? So now let me just grab this and turn to this side. So right sides facing together, middle with middle. I'm, I'm just grabbing my bottom back. So I'm gonna face cent uh, match the center with the center back. I'm just gonna roughly pin. And I'm gonna attach this just open because it's easier like this. So I'm gonna do exactly what I did for the front, I'm gonna do for the back. I'm gonna secure the back uh, part of my bottom to my main strap. Uh, as you see, uh, as you've seen before, I've used my uh, hand stitch to uh, secure the, the edges because I want them to stay exactly on the correct place. And only after that, I'm gonna place the other strap. So now, firstly, I'm gonna secure this one. So I've uh, pinned the front you already saw and the back it's only attached to the outside so fa right sides facing together. Now if I place the, the, this one you know like, like this uh, I'm gonna need to secure these two together but instead of uh, sewing uh, the entire uh, high I'm just going to secure the edges because I believe that I will need the hole here so I will leave the, the, the seam with a, a small hole in the middle so I'm gonna uh, straight stitch uh, one centimeter, leave a hole and then stitch again and we will be back here to secure this strap as we did for the front we will do it for the back also so now that I've done that, I'm going to align the entire bottom and I'm going to pin this strap here, it's the only thing missing, and then we can sew. So I'm going to align the center with the center here, and I'm going to pin all around and then we will be ready to sew. So we will be sewing over four layers when we are sewing the band and our bottom piece here in the front we will be sewing only two layers on the sides and then we will be sewing again four layers when we are on our back bottom and then again only two layers so let's go all around don't forget to place your uh, main fabric facing up and place your elastic on that side So now comes the interesting part. Uh, as you can see, I've done my uh, overlock and then I went to my straight stitch machine and with a zigzag stitch I reinforced the entire uh, uh, straps or bands or whatever. And now comes the interesting part. We want to sandwich this inside because we want to sew the straps together, right? The, this side that is missing because you, you want to this to be like this once it's done right so how are we going to do this we need to face right sides facing together so this with this but right sides facing together so like this right so let's place it right sides facing together like this And I'm gonna start here. 
I'm gonna uh, roll my uh, bikini uh, very carefully so it will be a very small roll inside my uh, bands so like a sandwich I call it sandwich and not burrito but you can call it burrito or you can call it wherever you want so now we are we have our straps right sides facing together and being very patient this is the trick you will pin uh, everywhere that you are able to pin you will not be able to pin all around but you will be able to pin a lot of uh, the um, a lot of the areas and you will start by sewing the areas that you can pin and then slowly you will uh, roll the interior of your um, you will roll this to the interior of your fabric like, like I did here you will roll it like this and you will pull and roll it and pull and roll it once you are on your machine and always placing right sides facing together from your bands and you will close the entire band don't forget to place the elastic on the same side which you have already used for uh, uh, the placement of the elastic. So if you did it here, you are going to place it on this side. I actually thought about this now that I'm editing the video. And I believe that uh, if we didn't sew the crotch area to begin with, uh, probably we could have done like I'm doing here. And then uh, once we reverse it to the correct side, we just have to use like if it was a ring and sew the crotch area. So maybe that's another option. But for sure, I will be back to Adriana Bottom and remake a video with a different method. Of course, that now when we try to unfold, it's not possible. And I had to identify the other side. So I, I matched, I looked for the lines that I've did before, I've done before, and I told you to mark your band. I identified the sides and I just cut it the entire strap and I will sew it after. So I believe this is one of the uh, ways that we can do it, and that's why I did. Uh, I told you to do your seam to the side because we will eventually do what I'm doing here, cutting the fabric on the other side. So we will have two seams on each side. But as I told you before, in the future I will try a different method uh, to see if we can do this with only one seam. When we reverse it, we will have to sew one of the sides. So now we just need to, using the hole that we left on the center back seam, which you will have on your side, just pull the, the strap that you need to sew inside through the hole, align them and sew over the four layers of fabric. Uh, make sure it, it, the, the straps are not twisted, uh, pin them and sew them using your straight stitch machine, trim, uh, as we do always. So now we just need to trim the excess. Uh, in these cases, uh, I believe that you already know, but uh, what I do is I use a zigzag stitch here, I a zigzag, a straight stitch to secure the, um, the threads from my overlock. I do a diagonal here and here, and you can see it well because it's on a different color. Let me zoom. So my threads are secure. I cut and now we just can reverse this and close the hole. Let's see how it turned. I was supposed to have made the band with a uh, total uh, 81 and then we would lose some for the seams and it, it would be nice for my size. But I ended up, when I cut it the strap again, I ended up doing, uh, doing it uh, bigger and now I have 84. So the centimeters that I have uh, are too much for me and this actually is large for me. But, so don't uh, do this for yourself, don't improvise. Choose the correct size and make sure that your band sits on your hips and uh, you measure your hips and you are sure that uh, the strap has a little bit of tension so it's always smaller than the, uh, the perimeter of your hips. And uh, here you have our Adriana bottom. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. So as you can see, it's ready. It, the, the band is actually large for me. 
I did it a little bit bigger than I was supposed to because um, uh, when I cut it the second time my bands I didn't uh, use uh, the correct measurements but as you can see uh, if this is the size okay and if it wasn't so big if it was with the right tension as you can see it would be it would look nice so this is the back okay and for the front if it was okay it, you it would be like this so I think it's quite nice and actually if you have two side seams I don't believe uh, that we would hurt the the design so I like the the contrast between the band and the main fabric and uh, I hope you like it too so don't forget to check your uh, bands measurements when you are doing this to make sure that you don't do like I did and that this is too big on me but I'm sure my best friend will be very happy with her new bottoms bye